One of NASCAR's biggest stars is headed back to the track this weekend, Tony Stewart, sitting on the sidelines since his deadly accident earlier this month that killed fellow driver Kevin Ward Jr. Stewart spoke publicly and emotionally today for the first time since it happened. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Tonight, Tony Stewart is back on the track, hugging teammates and practicing for Sunday's NASCAR race. The first since that accident three weeks ago when Stewart's car struck and killed 20-year-old Kevin Ward Jr. Stewart speaking publicly for the first time this afternoon. This has been one of the toughest tragedies I've ever had to deal with, both professionally and personally. And this is something that will definitely affect my life forever. Speaking directly to Ward's family. I want Kevin's father, Kevin Sr., and his mother Pam, and his sisters, Christy and Kayla and Caitlin, to know that every day I'm thinking about them and praying for them. Investigators insist they have not found any evidence to criminally charge Stewart for that accident. The video has haunted screens everywhere. Ward getting out of his car after an initial accident, waving his hands apparently at Stewart, then getting hit by Stewart's car. He wouldn't speak about the incident, citing the investigation. I've taken the last couple weeks off uh, out of respect for Kevin and his family and also to cope with the accident in my own way. But now he'll get back behind the wheel for Sunday's race. His friends right there with him. I'm sure he hasn't even worked through it yet, but um, one step is to, uh, you know, get back to something that feels normal again. And as a team, we're here for him and we're glad to have him back. I think that being back in the car this week with my racing family will help me get through this difficult time. And tonight we've learned police have extended the investigation into the crash for at least another two weeks. And NASCAR has new rules banning drivers who are in accidents from getting out of their cars, Amy. All right, Gio Benitez, thank you.